Uh, almost always when it comes to robotics though, you're gonna have your Z be your up and down. And then your X and Y can kind of be defined by you uh, in your coordinate system. All right, so now let's go ahead and go into some of the methods of how you tie that to this real world. And this is gonna really help you understand like the relationship of how this virtual world gets intertwined and matches up to the real world. And generally how that works is you go through either some type of calibration or scaling and through that calibration and that scaling, you create a zero point. So what is calibration and scaling? So calibration is more so gonna be utilized on a device that has the ability to detect a position. So let's say for instance, if you have like a known position, let's say, say for instance, a limit switch on this end and a limit switch on this end, and you're able to run a servo down here and run a servo down there and touch both ends. And then you have in your software, it's predefined or it's predefined in whoever the vendor is software that that is 10 feet exactly. So if you know that's 10 feet exactly, then you can have your, your servo system or whatever it is that you're working with kind of auto calibrate itself. So you don't have to do a lot of the math. The math can be handled in the background. Now, either somebody has to program, program in that math or the math is already programmed in by the, by the vendor that you got the product from. So what occurs whenever you're doing your auto calibration, your servo is driving down to one end, touching the limit switch, driving down to the other end, touching the limit switch, and your servo is gonna have an encoder on it, or you're gonna have it somewhere in that gearing system, in that mechanical gearing system. That encoder is sending that data back to your servo, 